Hi folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorials I would like to focus on transitional unbend feature. You can see here, over here directly in the sheet metal modeling, it's the possibility to use the function transitional unbend. This feature is really old and you can go through this feature and select the fixture geometry, specify transition area and the system sometimes the create and finish the unbend feature for you. Why sometimes? It's an old one. So I don't want to show you the old feature. I like to focus on the new one and it's a standard unbend feature what you can find here. And if you select this new feature directly with Creo Parametric 4.0, the system will select for you the fixed references or fixed geometry. And then here is a question that why the system cannot unbend directly. You can see here in menu that is the some tab deformation and you can choose what you would like to deform or you need to specify the surfaces which are deformed in two directions. If I will select this one and with control button I select the another side, you can see that feature or 3D model what was really hard to possible to unbend with old Pro Engineer. In these days, it's really easy with standard function of unbend. So this is the example how you can use the unbend feature with deformation area or with transitions. Maybe you would like to ask me how I create this 3D model. It's not so bad and not so hard. I select this feature and you can go through my model tree and you can see that model was created with one extrude feature as a surface model, some rounds, copy and move geometry as independent. Later I used the blend feature definite with tangency to select the geometry, merge feature and at the end I convert this information to sheet metal. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.